So we've not told you about this yet, but this happened on the 26th of May when we are on our way back from Gloucester. Um, we didn't say anything yet because it was quite negative and we didn't want to mention it until a positive came of it. Um, everything happens for a reason and you'll see what the reason is at the end of this video. Feel free to laugh uh, at our expense if need be because we are. <laughs> so uh, yeah, on with the video. This is our beautiful van that we cannot wait to get back to go more adventures in. It's been two weeks already. Poor thing, it's not his fault, he's just having a bit of bad luck. And here's the video. Well, that's it. Gloucester was really, really nice. We're just warming up to head home now. Had a lovely time, didn't we? If you had a camper van, you could make a coffee, couldn't you? God, something's wrong with Tranny. Bugger. Well, the dafts went off and then come back on again. <laughs> what the hell's a park pilot? <laughs> I'm just going to stop on the moors and take you for a quick walk. I don't think that's going to happen. And now it says I have a full tank of fuel when I hadn't even been to a fuel station. I've just stopped the co-op. <laughs> What's going on? So now I've got water leaking onto my foot. Um, something's not happy. Nah, it's not happening, buddy. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Yeah, you can see the drips there and I think that's the fuse box. So the water might be in the fuse box. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Poor van. So I've literally left this fuse box next to a heater all night <laughs> for about eight hours. <laughs> All right, let's try and fix the van. I think this should buy me about six minutes of quiet time. I reckon you're gonna let me have some um, van time. Yeah, I'll give you this. How good are you gonna be out of 10? <laughs> Take it. <laughs> this banner is number 13. Number 13, Spanner. Should have got a cat. Right, I've just attached everything back on again. Uh, let's see if it's dried out enough. Fingers crossed. Come on. Balls. Now I'm thinking the culprit might be all the water goes in there when it's raining lots but then that is there and this here is loose so maybe this was filling up and going straight into here so well this is so fiddly um i'm trying to get to these wires down here because they are soaked and even just trying to get this off is a nightmare <laughs> it's definitely that one look it's even corroded on that bit as well and the water's and it's dripping in there so i think it's this bit so just had amazon deliver this so uh i'm gonna get back over to the van there's a 12 volt one and um try and dry it off a bit more with a hairdryer <laughs> <laughs> gotta try everything <laughs> so this has been drying out for probably about i think five days now and i'm gonna go and meet the aa guy and see if it'll run again uh if not we've got to get towed to the garage Absolute genius idea. Ah. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> you're hairy though, I know you're hairy. So you're nicking our van. <laughs> you are a lovely, lovely dog, isn't you? <laughs> Oh, he'll talk. Yeah. He'll talk. He'll yeah. talk here. 
<laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's a good boy. There we go. Damn, this is weird. Right. Fingers crossed. Okay, so my idea is to get this bad boy on the road again. Been sat here for months and months not being used but it still starts and runs every time let's try it now there it's moldy it's gross I need a good valet it's all connected so let's see if it starts up if this starts our first time I'm fixing it for sure right that's it this is going back on the road <laughs> it deserves it. Every time it starts up straight away. Look at that lip. I'm not going anywhere. And the mileage is still going up. <laughs> We're going to get this back on the road. We have to. We, we owe it to it because it's it's been so good to us. It's been amazing. It starts up every time. It's been sat here for over a year now. It's got no MOT. We can drive it anywhere. Um, if we can get this back on the road, this can be a second vehicle uh, that we can use for filming. You know, if the other van breaks, this one is a backup. Horn still work? Oh, and you got a cute horn. <laughs> But if, if we sell it, we're going to get like 300 quid for it because it's, it's basically scrap to anybody else. But to us, yeah, it's worth more than that. Um, it's probably going to cost about, I'd say about 1500 quid to get it back on the road. But I think it's going to be worth it. This was the original van that uh, we started off in doing YouTube on our adventures. We lived in the van for years as well. So I think we, it's not just scrap to us. It's not just a rubbish van. So yeah, let me know what you think. <laughs> They've been in a zoo. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> so there we go. Obviously the old van being sat there for probably about a year now, just over a year, maybe under a year. Um, it obviously wanted to get back on the road again and it was so reliable for us. So even though we're gutted about the new van breaking it will be back with us in a week maybe two weeks time when it's all fixed and um we're also putting the old van back on the road as well so if this ever happens again we're not stuck we can just hop into another vehicle and off we go again and it ships yep <laughs> cheers all <laughs> i've got no treats i was just saying you're right <laughs>